ora. This is Mila Rich for Pointy for Care Kids News. Today the news, ordinary kids can go straight from school to building rockets. Rocket Labs is making it easier for ordinary kids to get space jobs. Now I gotta blast off. To Rocket Labs head office in Auckland. This is Mission Control. This is where the launch happens. Hi, Yulia. Hi, Mila. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So, how's it feel to be the first female launch director in New Zealand? That's pretty exciting, but to be honest, I hope a bit more are, are to come. So maybe you could be the next one. You're a space ambassador. What is that? So we are a team of I would say 20 people or so, and we, uh, we primarily visit schools and um, we try to, to explain what we are doing and get more particular young kids um, fizzed up to also do STEM studies. What else do you do here? As a part-time job, I'm helping to test and launch rockets. What's the coolest part of your job? Oh, for me, it's definitely a launch day. It's so exciting, it's so much fun. All stations ready? Commencing final go, no-go sequence. Avionics, are you go? Avionics is go. Stage, are you go? Stage is go. Vcon, are you go? Vcon is go. T1, are you go? T1 is go. Go, no go sequence is complete. Five, four, three, two, one. We are off to space. So, how does it feel to see the things you build going to space. It is probably the coolest experience ever, um, looking at the launch uh, live stream or anything like that, and watching your hard work end up in space is the most coolest and most amazing feeling in the whole world. How do you even begin to build a rocket? Well, it starts off something with a really small part and then we keep adding to it or putting more things towards it or into it, and then it slowly develops and grows into a complete object like this. As a space ambassador, what do you tell the kids at school? Pretty much that anyone can be a rocket scientist, that it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are, if you work hard enough, you can end up here working with us. Astronaut Mila going to space. You're the first person in Mission Control to have Māori Papa. How do you feel? I feel hugely honoured that I've, I'm the first person with Māori Papa to be in Mission Control but I'm also a little gutted that I'm the first person as well. So hopefully I can um, help to build a pathway for more Māori in this place. What did you study to get here? So I did a Bachelor of Engineering at Massey University, uh, graduated Electronics and Computer Engineering. I love computers. Real. <laughs> what does it take to get into Rocket Lab? It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of fun. <laughs> fun is the key to everything. <laughs> This is a rocket in its early stages. Hello, baby rocket! Hello, Hello baby, baby rocket. rocket! I can hear my echo. So what exactly do you do in the factory? I work with the carbon fibre parts of the rocket. So we are at the start of the food chain, if, if you will. And we kind of start the process of building it from a tube to a rocket. Where's this rocket going, Sinead? This one here is going to the moon. Nice. <laughs> what would you go and tell to ordinary Kiwi kids to get into Rocket Labs? I would say that whatever you want to do in life, if you just put your mind to it and you're determined to do it, you can. This was Mila Rich reporting for Kia Kids News.